Yes, it's Michael! It's Michael! 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 Oh, this is dangerous territory, lads. This is where you want Michael Owen. Just a simple little slip. Leaves him for dead. Boom! That's what you do when you have Michael Owen. He's unstoppable up front, man. Oh, what's the crack, lads? Welcome to our Michael Owen review. We packed him yesterday on the live stream, thanks to donations. We're going to be showing you some gameplay, but also showing you the best build of Michael Owen to turn him into an unstoppable demon up front. Does he compare to Mario and Saviola? Let's find out. All right, lads, let's get straight into it, right? No messing around. The best thing about Michael Owen is his movement. Similar to the Shevchenko build that we had last week, where Shevchenko was beasting, Michael Owen's movement, but also his speed and his versatility and his finishing. He's just lethal up front. He's more of a mobile player than pretty much Shevchenko or any of those guys. He's in the same league as Romario and Saviola. And I don't say that too lightly because you guys know how much I value Romario. Left foot, right foot, doesn't matter. Two clips, two different goals, but a similar outcome of how he scored a movement. Little stop, start, and then pop and go. Now, this is the ultimate, ultimate build we have found of Michael Owen. It's an insane build if you look at it and you break it down. The one area of weakness here on Michael Owen you might look at is balance at 87 instead of 90. Does this make a huge difference? The, the short answer is no. If you can get the tight possession, as you can with this build that we have here, if you get the tight possession to 90 by having Guardiola or Alonso, this is... This is it, man. This is the build. This is the build. 100 acceleration, 95 attack and awareness. That's huge. 96 dribbling, 90 tight possession. 7 into shooting. 0 into passing. Don't waste some. 13 into dribbling. 9 into dexterity. And 8 into lower body with popping 1 onto aerial strength just to use it up as well. This is the build, man. This is the build. I'm telling you, try this build out. A lot of people have been asking me, what's the best build? We tested this guy out over multiple games in Division 1. And in the events as well. The gameplay is what it is at the moment. I mean, sometimes it's in the mud. But Michael Owen as a goal poacher, you know what you're getting. There's a reason why a lot of these top, top guys use Michael Owen and use Rummy and use Saviola. And use Romario to a lesser degree. But that has all got to do with his versatility. And what I mean by versatility is he's got a good physique. He's got player ID and player AI is really, really strong. But also one of Michael Owen's biggest assets is his weak foot accuracy, which is very high. Now, his usage is occasionally, but you can trigger that if you cut in from the right onto the left or onto the left and to the right, vice versa, if, if it's a left-footed player. And you will see here that we're going to have two examples. We have the right foot finish here curled. We have the left foot finish curled and a little kind of a drive shot where the keeper doesn't be, isn't able to react to it. And that's manual Neuer in goals. It's not like a default keeper or anything. You can just beat goalkeepers with those animation-based shots. And that comes down to it. In terms of skills, this is going to be more of a personal thing, I think, with Michael Owen. One-touch pass is always nice on players like this and the silky players. I've seen a few people put ball roll on him. I've seen a few people put area superiority. But those are the skills that we've gone for. I think it, it kind of is pretty much self-explanatory why we're putting them on him. Now, in terms of Michael Owen's gameplay, lads, because he is a goal poacher, you do want to be dependent on his movement quite a bit. And we're going to highlight the movement here from him. Just watch him in the box here as this play develops. Lovely dart and run forward. Holds the line. And then drops back in. Now that's just a contextual pass. Obviously that looks cool. There's nothing really extra we're doing there. But again, left foot pass into the path of Hullet. And then Hullet just slots it home. That is very underrated when you're looking at players com in comparison to Michael Owen. Because he has that left foot and because he has that kicking power, it's really, really nice. Now, if you look at Saviola and you do a quick comparison of these two boys, you guys know how much I rate Saviola and you definitely know how much I rate Romario. Romario is my all-time ultimate favorite striker in the game. If you look at the breakdown of stats there, attack and awareness, Michael Owen comes up trumps. That's going to mean better runs, insane runs off the ball when you're not controlling him. And then when you do touching goals, he's going to be alert to everything. He's got that speed, blister and acceleration on par with uh, Saviola, more speed than Saviola, better finishing by one. Tight possession and balance is going to be the two big things, right? So Michael Owen does get to 90 tight possession, but he doesn't have that 98 balance. That's or sorry, he doesn't get to 90 balance. He has that 87 balance. He doesn't get to that 90 mark with the balance. That can be a small factor if you're used to playing with the likes of Romario or Saviola who are basically still the meta, you know, in terms of how they actually convert goals and their movement off the ball. Yes, they might not be as all-round dominant as Rafael Leao or Rummy up front. A lot of people using them now, the top rank. But these guys definitely will score you a goal a game. 
And especially if you are going from Division 4 upwards, Division 3, Division 2, these guys are a goal a game. They're waiting to happen. If you get a chance on goal, you will not miss with these if you're any bit good at scoring. You've got the 90 finishing, the acceleration, everything that you could possibly want. So lads, this was kind of a difficult one for me of where I would rate Mike alone, okay? Because I know a lot of people really, really like him. But I do reserve the 10 out of 10 players. Is he on par with Romario? That was the big question I had. And I... Ah, 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 it's tough. It is tough. It's very, very tough. But we did decide in the end. I had to put him and I had to put him at a 10 out of 10. This is the first 10 out of 10 I've had in a while um, going back. Now, Shevchenko was an 8. We had Hollett's review as well, which was at a 9. And it's kind of saying, how can you put Hollett at 9 and Michael Owen at 10? It's just for the ease of playing with these type of players, man. They do so much for you when you are needing a goal, right? And that's where the game is at at the moment. We'll talk about that in the live stream and hopefully they fix it with the next big update Thursday. But for now, I'm happy enough to put Michael Ona at a 10 out of 10. He's really, really surprised me with how good he is. The weak foot accuracy, his movement, the build that you can have with him, the skills that you can overcompensate with to actually turn him into more of a monster with those driven shots and the movement... He's, be he's beastly, man. He's an unstoppable demon up front, especially as you go up the ranks. So that is it for me. Would I, pr would I advise you get him if you have a Mario or Saviola? No, there's no real need. If you have his old big time card, there's no real need. But I definitely think he's a monster. Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree or disagree? Am I being too generous or am I right in putting him as a 10 out of 10? Let me know and I'll talk to you in a bit.